Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Summers hiding right behind this big old head of my photo bomber puppy Dot, who just wants two little sticks this morning. She just wants a couple of sticks to chew on. <laughs> I think she likes the camera. Uh, this is our brief daily message of hope. And we are in, in our the Thursday of Easter week today, and uh, we're getting in our gospel lesson at Mass, the, the, the last of the Emmaus Road story from Luke chapter 24, where we pick up the, uh, the narrative of the mysterious stranger on the road who appeared to two of Jesus' disciples as they were on the, the way home to, uh, to Emmaus on Easter Sunday afternoon. Uh, well, as we heard in yesterday's gospel, uh, they realized it was Jesus who had been walking with them, the risen Christ. Uh, and as he broke the bread and uh, gave them the pieces of the bread and the, uh, the giving of the Eucharist to them, uh, Jesus disappeared from their, their sight uh, and their eyes were opened and they realized who he was and they ran back to Jerusalem and that's where our, our lesson today begins. They got to the upper room and were telling the, the apostles that they had uh, seen Jesus and he had really has risen from the dead. And the apostles surprisingly say, we know because Peter here has seen him. Uh, and as they're talking about those things, Jesus himself stands in the middle of them. The doors were closed, the windows were closed, and he stood in their midst and said to them, Shalom Aleichem, peace be with you. And we're told that they were frightened and amazed, and they thought they were seeing a ghost. When Jesus says, Fear not, see that it is I, and look at my hands and my uh, wounds on me. It is I, uh, Shalom Aleichem, peace be with you. Um, and as they are beginning to realize that it really is the Lord, uh, Jesus does something wonderful to them. He says, <laughs> do you have anything to eat? <laughs> and so they did. They had a piece of broiled fish uh, that they gave to him, and he ate it in their midst. Um, and so we get the, the joyful reunion uh, between Jesus and his apostles in the upper room um, on Easter evening. Uh, and he says, now do you understand all that I have taught you uh, that all that was in the law and the prophets and in the Psalms had to be fulfilled. And so it is I, and I'm with you. And you know, that message reverberates throughout history. It is Jesus, and he is with us. Uh, and he does continue to tell us, Shalom Aleichem, peace be with you. The one who spoke peace into the teeth of a storm, and the storm calmed down on the Sea of Galilee, speaks peace into our hearts so that we can be still and know that he is God. I've been thinking today about the uh, the anonymous German hymn from somewhere around 1800. Uh, we're not sure where the words came from. Uh, the music, I think, was uh, by uh, uh, Joseph Barnby called Laudus Domini. And the wonderful hymn is When Morning Gills the Skies. Stay today and God willing, Dodd, and I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.